Okay, so I'm finally here with my review on Jackson Jekyll from the Save Frankie Freaky Fusion line. Um, he was found at Walmart, did not order him online. I went in and I dug around and I found him. They were not sitting like right in the front facing of the dolls. They were sitting further back. They were behind everything and I had to dig for him. I wasn't really on a toy hunt, so when I found him, that's why I did not record. But just a quick look at the box. And it has the other two from the Save Frankie line on the back here. And there's the story if you would like to pause and read it. I'm really a fan of these new uh, Freaky Fusion boxes. So let's go ahead and get him open and then we'll be back to review him. Alright, let's start by having a closer look at some of the accessories that Jackson comes with. The first thing that I noticed um, that I wasn't a huge fan of were these glasses. Uh, I'm not really sure where they were going with these. I don't know if he wears these in the movie. I don't know if these are Frankies. Um, but if he was going to come with his glasses, I would have rathered him come with his black thick, ringed, black thick framed glasses. <laughs> And not these. I'm not really a fan, so I probably won't be putting these on him, even though I will be keeping them with him. Um, he also comes with this little photo of Frankie with some unintelligible writing on it. Uh, it's just a little piece of paper. I'm not sure what this was meant for either, but I will be keeping that with him. It comes with a child-sized, what I'm assuming to be a bracelet. Um, because I don't really think it could be for anything else and it, it took me a second but it is like stitches so it I believe it matches the bracelet that he is wearing which we will get to later and of course like almost all of the Freaky Fusion that I have purchased so far he comes with a yellow brush and his last accessory is this um, sign right here which, let me turn him around for you, he can hold in the back there and he, it's just a piece of picture cardboard in there. Alright, so let's zoom in on this little bracelet of his. Okay, so here's the bracelet I was talking about and if you look, it is the same pattern as the bracelet that you get to wear for yourself but it doesn't say Monster High on it so just the one that you get says Monster High on it. Alright and up to his face um, he has a little stitching mark here but uh, my biggest thing that I noticed the most with him is his eyeshadow. Um, for me, a male doll shouldn't have that much eye coloring. Yeah, I think that if it would have been a little bit lighter, it may have given a little bit more of a masculine eye. To me, that looks like a girl's smoky eye. Um, he does have a uh, eyebrow piercing up on his eyebrow, which I'm not sure, because he always has his hair, like his bangs down. If you can see right there, I'm not sure if he has an eyebrow piercing because his hair is always covering that area of his face. Okay, now his hair, I, I think I prefer this Jackson uh, brushed back look. Um, it is a very, very gel, very sticky look. If you touch it too long, your fingers get sticky. But I do think I like this... Uh, this look on him. And I'll just show you guys what the glasses look like on him. If I can get them on without messing up his hair. So there's the glasses on him. Um, let me know down below what your opinion is on these glasses. I'm not really a fan. Um, but just a real quick look at his outfit. So there's the Safe Frankie shirt and the shorts. Uh, these remind me of like swim trunks. So I'm also not a huge fan of these. I think they could have went with something a little bit more masculine instead of like swimwear look. And then he's just got a pair of like plain blue loafers with a yellow stripe on them. Yeah, but overall, I think he's a great, a great doll. Um, 
I do recommend getting him. Those were just some of my pointers that I just wasn't a super fan of. But um, if you disagree, comment down below. Let me know. You can follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and Facebook. And if you follow me on those, then you will see the upcoming videos before they're even posted as I'm out on my toy hunts. So I hope you guys enjoyed this quick review of Jackson Jekyll. If you guys find him at your local Walmart, tag me at Clay by Shay on Instagram and Shay's Official on Twitter and let me know if you found him. I'll see you guys in the next review. Bye!